A warm weekend in Tallahassee, but the Florida State baseball team's bats were even hotter as they just finished up a weekend sweep of Rhode Island. For the FSU, I'm Lauren Vickers alongside Aaron Masudi and Jen Henry of the Tallahassee Democrat. Also joining us is a special guest senior pitcher, Mike Compton. Mike, your debut on Friday for the opening weekend of your 2016 season, what did you see in your pitching staff? Oh, uh, we saw I saw a lot of great things from our pitching staff. Um, we got a bunch of new guys, also with a bunch of veterans as well, and they came in here executed pitches. Um, I think the coaches were pretty pleased. We've been put in difficult situations with all spring leading up to this weekend and um, we we're just able to get out there, execute pitches, get outs, and uh, get our team back in the dugout so we can score some runs. And as a veteran team leader on this team, what do you think this team needs to do to propel you guys to success this season? Uh, we should continue to work hard. Um, you know, I think the coach is kind of stressed not to play the, the opponent, but play the game. We're always trying to improve uh, no matter what situation it is. And if we can just go about each and every day, just trying to get better, trying to just learn from the coaches and push each other um, to have good success, I think we'll be fine. Guys, additionally, the freshmen really stepped up for the Knowles this, this weekend. Tyler Holton, Cole Sands, Cal Raleigh. What did you make of how the freshmen played this weekend? I think the biggest thing is, first of all, they embraced it and enjoyed it. Because as freshmen, as you know, coming into the stadium, it can be intimidating. But um, I think the coaching staff was very pleased with their approach and, and just really how poised they were. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you this. You guys lose someone like Boomer Bogowski off of last year's team. You come in Cole Sands, and here comes Tyler Holton, and they pitch so well. It's got to be encouraging for you guys, especially, uh, right. to see guys like that do so well. Absolutely. I mean, those guys, they've worked hard ever since they came in to the program. Um, they've embraced every opportunity thrown at them. And they're excited to be out here and trying to make a contribution to our team. And we're going to need them to step up. And they've been able to do that so far. Additionally, there were a few notable position changes for the Knowles this weekend. Sandstone to third, Busby to first, Miller to outfield. What are your initial reactions on how the players handled those changes? I mean, I thought it went very well. Um, Sony, you know, is always going to bring his game. I mean, he's a, he's a vet. I actually thought he showed pretty good range and a really strong arm. Um, you know, his mom's gonna bring good lasagna too to <laughs> pot like dinners. Um, you know, Busby looked like a natural for us. He's, you know, he's got length, so I thought he covered it pretty well. And um, I was really impressed with Raleigh behind the plate, and I think Henderson was a good addition too. And, and you can't forget Walls. I mean, that kid was extremely steady today. He probably the only really, really. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Obviously, last season, uh, defense was one of those areas that the team really needed to work on coming into 2016, and 11 said that as much uh, coming into this year. Uh, they're really working hard on trying to find the right pieces to, to shore up that infield defense, to bat guys like Mike. Um, and I think with the batting lineup that you guys have this year, Mike, and, and that pitching staff with, with how how sharp they look this weekend, defense shores up, and I think Florida State's got a chance to do something special this season. And then finally, you saw Sansone hit a couple home runs. Jim, what is your opinion on what Sansone needs to do to step up as a leader for this team for this season? I, I mean, I think he's already doing it. I mean, you're, you're talking to a guy who's – been around the program, knows what it takes. He's an extension really of the coaching staff. I and mean, guys like Mike, these type of leaders. Um, this is a young team. I think it's going to be a fun team to watch, um, like Coach Martin just said. I don't think this weekend really proves anything. I mean, I, I think it proves what kind of potential this team has. Um, but again, it's just one step in a long process. But I think it's going to be an exciting journey. Really. All right, well, that's all we have from Tallahassee. But you can catch Mike and the rest of the Seminoles next Friday in Dick Hauser as they start another weekend series against College of Charleston. For Jim, Aria, and Mike, I'm Lauren. We'll see you next time.